Hey guys. I'm trying to adjust this and block that light with my big old head over here because it's kind of bright. Um, so today's the last day of the event. I know it's gotten kind of quiet today and I'm sorry I kind of went MIA yesterday since I had an event at Bear and I was distracted. So I wasn't around to like boom, 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 answer questions and everything. Um, however, I'm still here and I wanted to say thank you for joining. Thank you for letting me add you to this group. I know that there are so many things going on in everybody's lives. It's a new year. It's hectic. People are busy, busy, busy. And there's always a million things going on, on Facebook. I know there's so many parties. I too am bombarded with it. So I appreciate you saying that I could add you to this event. Um, it means a lot to me. Um, I think it's probably apparent that this mission has become something I, that is very, very important to me. And I feel that it's very important to all of you. I'm not, not buying the products is so important, but, but hearing this mission, hearing the movement and, and understanding what it's all about, I think is very important. So, um, I do want to continue to help you guys learn how to read ingredients, learn how to check out your products very highly advise downloading the EWG Healthy Living app on your phone so you can slowly work your way through your current product lineup. The EWG Skin Deep app is what I, or um, website is what I use all the time to help people look, look their items up. And um, if this resonates with you at all the way it does with me, when I first learned about it, I was very skeptical. I mean, you guys have heard my story at the beginning of the week, but this, I wasn't, I'm still not somebody that only buys my food at farmer's market. I'm not this like clean living, crunchy granola, you know, hippie that only wanted to buy my products at Whole Foods and now I'm buying them from here. I definitely am a slow convert to trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Um, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I'm turning 35 in two weeks or if it's because I'm a mom or living in San Francisco maybe turning me into a little bit of a hippie or all the above but I think it's important for all of us to try to live a healthier life um, to spread the word of simple ways we can do um, prevention is really a much better way than correction right whether it be aesthetic, you know, vanity wise or, um, obesity or, um, health issues, diabetes, yada, 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 you know, so many things. It's more about prevention than correction. And, uh, beauty counter does offer a beautiful solution to this particular subject in that regard. Um, but like I said, it wasn't something that I was on this mission. I didn't seek it out. It just kind of, it was a, a introduced to me the same way I'm introducing it to you. But I was, I think even more, I, I gave a lot of pushback. It wasn't, it, I didn't think it was for me. And, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I just started learning to read ingredients in a whole different way. I'd always looked for very active ingredients. I wanted to know what was anti-aging me, what was exfoliating, what was hydrating, you know, the, what the active ingredients were, but I didn't care about those other 50 things in the middle. I didn't know what they were. I didn't, what, whatever, some kind of preservatives, I don't know. So my eyes were very opened and I just couldn't get the company out of my head. From a usage standpoint, I started comparing lots of things to Beauty Counter um, products and I did slowly start incorporating Beauty Counter to replace items that I've used for years, you guys. It's taken me 11 years to perfect my regimen, so I did not want to give up what I knew I loved. But when I started reading those ingredients, I was like, I'm not okay with Valerie putting, on, putting it on her skin. And I stopped using it when I was pregnant, so why should I put myself at risks that we know we shouldn't put children at risk for, you know, skin is skin. So, um, it's absorbed into all of us the same way. So it kind of was like, duh, what am I doing? Um, but it, you know, it did, it did resonate with me and it was a, a real, it's been a fantastic way to be contributing to the, the greater good, if you will. And it's been so much more fulfilling than I thought it would be. Um, I did do a direct sales company before. Most of you guys probably know I did Chamberries. I sell these pretty nails and I loved it. I had a lot of fun. It was very fun. Um, and it still is. And I still wear the product. I think it's fun, but it wasn't this like fulfillment in my soul to feel like, oh my God, I'm making a difference. And that's something that this happens. I'm not a super political person. I'm not very active in, um, 
charitable endeavors. Uh, I always intend to be, but I, this has become my way, my feel good hobby that also has made, is making me nice, um, extra living, living in San Francisco. We could always use extra money. So I do ask you guys to consider hosting an event with me. Um, because this is how I'm making the change. Okay. To, I know only who I know. So if you guys would allow me to share this movement with your friends and family, it doesn't have to be a, be, be a big ordeal. It can be a simple online event like this. If we are local or have any trips planned to see people across the country or anything, um, I can come to you. I, I just, I am limited to who I know. So I act, ask very actively to consider letting me host a, an event with you so that I can introduce your friends to this way of thinking and this education. It's really about education first, um, product second. I don't know if you saw the post that I did last night that about being a B corporation. We're so proud to be a B corporation. It's something that's very, very, very hard to do. A B Corp is, is a company that is about change first and profit second. It's not a nonprofit. It is a for-profit business, but it's companies like Patagonia, like Tom's, where it's about giving back and making a bigger impact and making a change and on a mission, really mission-driven company. And there's lots of parameters that a company has to, has to hit to be able to be qualified as this. So as far as our sales model, it's a, it's a unique, it is a kind of an offshoot of direct sales model. It's considered direct retail because we do have lots of, um, Companies approach us on a regular basis to be a regular retail outlet, but we don't have the interest to do it because we really feel that our this message is better shared peer-to-peer, friend-to-friend, as opposed to a retail outlet. We're kind of limited to who we have, who we, who walks into our store, and people that are already aware of it are probably going to be the most active customers. So with selling it, the direct retail model, we call it direct retail because it is a retail quality, high-end brand that's highly sought after for retail, and it's more of a retail market. It's not the old school Avon, anyways, I'm not trying to down, uh, down talk any other companies. Um, we have partnered with many, um, very big names. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow has been a partner for a very long time and we did a pop-up with her, with her goop shops. Um, Bono, uh, and his wife, we recently acquired their company, Nude Skincare. And he is now, they are now investors and active, um, you know, members of a beauty counter. And just those, those three people alone, I was blown away because I wasn't part of the company before those relationships were established. And I was very impressed thinking, God, this company is legit. This is big time. Cause I would have thought at the time that nude would have acquired beauty counter, not the other way around. So it was, um, very eye-opening to me, and I had actually called my friend Michelle, who was with it, and was like, I don't want to join Beauty Counter. I want to invest in it. She's like, me too, but they're not public yet, so joining's the closest you can get, um, and I did, and so I've never looked back. Um, many of you may have been aware, uh, oh, you like my ceilings, thank you, that, um, that we were in Target for a while. So the partnership with Target was a limited offering, much like a pop-up. I guess you could call it a pop-up event. It lasted for nine weeks, nine weeks, 12 weeks, a couple weeks, like two or three months. And then it, we only had nine offerings there. So some people will say, oh, you guys are in Target. We're not. It's done. It was a very small um, window of time, really, to get the message out there because we all know we love Target. Target's the bomb. Um, it was more like how they did the partnerships with Isaac Merzahe, Lily Pulitzer, um, you know, big, fancy designer, big names to bring it to the general public's awareness. Um, that was the entire point. You know, our mission is about uh, movement and, sh and change and sharing. So where's one place everybody shops, you guys, Target. So that was a really good, but it's also high quality, um, well-respected company too. We're not partnering with Walmart you know um so is this the sweater that miguel got me no but this is one that you would like to look at the cowl neck um that uh michelle never fails you get me off topic all the time um so anyways it's been something that i'm like screaming from the rooftops because i'm so excited to share it and that's not something that often happens when people partner with a direct sales company. You know, you're like, you share it with some people, but it's okay, Michelle. I like chatting with you on here too. Um, 
it's just something that is such a feel-good company. We had an event last night at Bear, and there was 35 people that came, and there was a handful of co other consultants who I'd never met before. And so getting to meet these women, they're these beautiful, well-spoken, smart, educated, classy ladies. And it was like, God, I'm part of this cool group. Um, and the customers that came, some had already purchased a lot and came. Some had never... Um, heard of beauty counter before and came because a friend had asked them and some people just stopped in placed an order and left you know it was kind of like this moving event but it felt so good to be part of it and i just was was like giddy with excitement the whole night like oh my god we're, we're making change even if it's like five people at a time 35 people at a time it's a movement that spreads and all of us women men are using it too but women were more chatty we share we share we share we share and it's just growing tremendously i think that we sh we grew something like 500 percent last year um so anyways long long you know excited dance over i just i i really want you guys to get the message that this company is amazing to be part of if you're if it resonates with you at all and you want to think about doing what I do to any capacity whether it's two hours a week whether it's 20 hours a week whether it's 40 hours a week it's so dang flexible you can and you feel so good being part of it even if I have gals that join because they want the discount on the huge product pack they get a big old 40 percent discount and they don't have interest in selling, but they buy, they get, they buy for themselves at a discount. They gift to friends and family members. They share with their neighbor, with their nanny. And before they know it, they have a business and they get a check for $800 and they're like, what the hell? I wasn't even selling it. It happens because people get interested and people tell their friends who tell their friends, oh, my girlfriend sells this. Oh yeah, I have a friend. Oh yeah, beauty counter. My friend sells it. Yeah, yeah. So people pass around your website. It, it happens without you even trying at times. Um, so it's something that because it's so flexible, I mean, I work full time. My friend Michelle who does this works full time. Most of our immediate friends work full time. Um, but there's lots of stay-at-home moms that do it too. There's tons of women that work full-time and have three kids and still want to do it because they're just like, God, I can't stop thinking about this company. I want to be part of it in some way, shape, or form. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. You do it how it works into your life. I never in a million years thought I was going to be doing live Facebook videos. I would roll my eyes and tease Miguel all the time about his, you know, workout and tear all the TRX videos. And the first one I did, a girlfriend had told me, like, just go on live. Quit. Don't be scared, you know. And I was like, well, I'm scared. I'm kind of nervous. And she was like, why are you so scared? You're nervous? Like, teasing me because I don't like to be a scaredy cat. So I did it and was like, I guess it's not so bad. And I actually love it now because I get to interact with you guys. And you guys get to see my face and see I'm not you know, filtering the crap out of it. These skincare products really are helping my skin because let's be honest, we all want to look and feel our best, whatever that is. Um, but it gives some more realness. You can see my room's kind of messy while I'm sitting here at my little tiny city desk talking to you guys, or I'm walking up the hills chatting with you guys. So that's, it just, <sighs> Point being is there's a way for everyone to do it, whether you're shy, whether you're outgoing, not one person, I guess me, I'm kind of a salesperson by nature, but my, my, every other person that I'm friends with that's decided to do this is not a salesperson by any means because it doesn't feel like you're selling, you're just sharing. You're just sharing, you're talking to your friends, you're letting them borrow an eye cream, borrow a lip, have a lip gloss, gifting people, and before you know it, you have a business. Um, but if you don't want it as a business, if you just get the pride of being part of something bigger, that's amazing too and it's so fulfilling. So that's my two cents on that. Please, please, please consider having an event with me. I would love to work with every single one of you guys. Um, my goal by the end of the year is to have an event with every person in this party. So be warned, I will be contacting you and saying, when are we going to schedule your party? Not even party, it's not party. When are we going to schedule your education event, your beauty counter training? Um, so... I will be reaching out to you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and listening to my long-winded rambles. Um, you can still order tonight 